So, Carlos, thank you for having me a second time. First time was, of course, in the manufacture. It was an amazing experience. Uh, we get to learn that you guys uh, want uh, GP fans or GP collectors to be just as happy and uh, uh, to facilitate uh, uh, well, the roots of, of the love for the brand, not just as uh, timepieces, but as a relationship between uh, end user and the manufacturer, which is amazing. And there was candy everywhere. <laughs> I'm glad you were super happy uh, when you came by. Thank you for coming. Uh, we're super happy to have you here at the Dubai Watch Week. I have to say, for us, you know, a brand that lasts for 230 years is only because we have happy customers. And we very much believe that as a Perigo, luxury could be about joy. It has to be about joy. So uh, we would love to welcome everyone at the manufacturer. Uh, I know you were one of the lucky ones to be able yes, to come. Yes, so lucky. But it's not visible, so it's thanks to you that we're able also to explain what happens in our workshops. To everywhere, to everyone yes, and everywhere. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So, uh, a few key things we need to talk about, I think, is yes. the fact that now GP has an in-house enameling workshop. Yes. And uh, this enables GP to actually make enamel dials and enamel pieces, confu, and uh, to make it accessible for the average Joe, let's say. I remember making an enamel dial for a watch that I did the piece unique and the, the price was almost the price of a watch, not just a dial. It's true that we're very lucky to have Humidity Dar in-house because you know we're a manufacturer um, and this is allowing us to present today uh, the Eternity Editions. So the idea was to pay tribute to our iPhones, playing on enamel, uh, making sure that the Savoir Faire will last for the next 230 years. Um, so we've done a beautiful work around the masterpiece that I would love to show you. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just look at the masterpiece in a second. Let me just explain what just happened to everyone. So, the first year I was in the manufacturer, I was in the manufacturer, I was in the manufacturer, I was in the manufacturer. في الزيارة هذه اكتشفنا بعض الأمور أهمها كان إن جراب طرقه مهتم بالشخص الأند يوزر الشخص المشتري للساعة كثر ما هو مهتم للساعة مهتم لساعاتك يبي علاقته ما بينك وما بين ساعتك وما بينك وما بين صناع الساعات أو المانفاكتشر نفسهم الشغلة الثانية اللي اكتشفناها وشرحوا لنا إياها هناك هو إنه صار عندهم إن هاوس إنامل يعني شنو صار عندهم فرن ويسوون الدايلز ويسوون قطع الإنامل مجرد داخل جراب فرقو وهذا الشيء سمح لهم أن ينزلون أو يخفضون سعر الغانفو أو الإنامل على الساعات وعلى القطع اللي عليها إنامل فهذه الشغلة اللي أنا وكلمان صالفنا وياه بتوريني هي she's gonna show me the eternity edition yeah. which we also saw like small pictures of in in uh, in Lushu Dufan yes time to reveal the pieces in real starting with Esmeralda. So, so, just before we let, who is Esmeralda? Yes. I know who Esmeralda is, but I don't think they know who Esmeralda is. It's a good question. Yes. So you know, the masterpiece at Jean Perigo is a pocket watch yes. that was done in 1889. 1889. For the Universal Exhibition in Paris, it was actually the first time that our founder, Constant Girard had the genius idea of doing three gold bridges. And it got an award. And it won the gold medal at the exhibition uh, back in Paris. See? You know everything. In Gerard Parago, the manufacturer had a cinema. So the cinema, I saw it at the time lapse. The series, you can see it on Instagram. You can see the cinema. They show the Gerard Parago from the beginning to the now and the now. 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 فسولفوا عن اسمرالدا اسمرالدا كانت ساعة بوكيت واتش البوكيت واتش هذه فازت في باريس وزت في باريس كجائزة أفضل ساعة كانت أول مرة جراد بارغو يستخدمون الثري بريجز اللي موجودة في الاسمرالدا والإترنتي واتش الساعة الحين الماستر بيس اللي موجودة في إيد كلمانس مبنية على الاسمرالدا أن اسمرالدا هو؟ اسمرالدا هو نحن 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 which was called Esmeralda and Zewi in Mexico, sold it to the former president of Mexico, Ophelia Diaz. And then suddenly the watch is back in, in and the head. And then um, his family took, got 
got in contact with us and we were able to repurchase the watch to be able to cater it in the museum. In the museum. Esmeralda was a member of Gerard Paragoff in Mexico. They had a lot of money in the meeting of Paris. So they had a lot of Gerard Paragoff in it. And after a long time, استطاع جيرارد بارغو أن يشتري الساعة من عائلة رئيس المكسيك سابقا اللي شراها من الوكيل الوكيل كان اسمه إزبرالدا. So the idea is to pay homage. To pay tribute, yeah, to the pocket watch from 1889, playing on wristwatch version of this timepiece using different techniques and savoir-faire, especially engraving and enameling. So you still have those three parallel bridges. But two galloping horses that handle the Tourbillon Bridge and the Barrow Bridge. فلو تلاحظون في الاترنيت إديشن الثري بريجز موجودين الفرق إن بدل يكونون ثلاث جسور في خيل ماسك الجسر اللي تحته في خيل ماسك الجسر اللي فوق فوق الشغلة راح تشوفون كثير من التشطيبات الجميلة على الساعة منها اللي سولفنا عنها إن الحين صار عندهم سرن للإنامل فتلاحظون الإنامل على جانب الساعة وطبعا الإنغريفينج أو الحفريات اللي قاعد تصير على البزل وهذا طبعا النقش كله قاعد يصير داخل جيرارد باراغو. في ظهر الساعة كلاموس وات هابنز إن ذا باك؟ ذيز أولسو أ لوت أوف هورسز أند أ لوت أوف إنامليينغ. So the back is actually three galloping horses like on the pocket watch from 1889 with a beautiful work of hand guilloché and enamelling, translucent blue enamelling on top of it. في الظهر عندنا بعد ايضا ثلاث خيول وعندنا طبعا انامليينج في انامليينج شفاف وفي انامل آه مثل ما تلاحظون سوليد وفي هاند جليوشي اللي هو الجليوشه اللي صاير آه في الخطوط اللي, خار اللي خارجه من الخيل كنا في شمس او آه يسمونهم سان ريز طالعين بالجليوشه لو تلاحظون حتى حاطين لنا سامبلز من من الانامليينج آه عشان تقدر تختار اللون اللي انت تبيه and how many pieces are you guys going to make from the new Esmeralda? So it's going to be 18 pieces maximum. And then a person can choose the color of the enamel? Exactly. So you and the metal, or it has to be gold? So on this one, it will be green gold. Green gold. Um, then why not in the future playing with other materials? Yeah. But you know, engraving and enameling is quite a special art. Yes. Art, and it cannot be done on every metal. But this is done inside GP. This is done in-house regarding the enamel. Yes. The engravers, we work very closely with engravers from La Chaux de Fonds. Okay. And I haven't revealed all the secrets of time yet. Please. If you... So this is what we call a true secret watch mm -hmm. because if you press on the button at 3 o'clock, it opens ah. the case back reveal the movement. And it's finished to perfection. Yes. Absolutely you gorgeous. Know, في manufacturer الحين كلاماس ذكرت لي السالفه الواتش ميكرز عندهم الى حد ما فيهم شغف لدرجه انه ممكن انه يشطب بريدج او جسر او قطعه داخل الساعه انت ما تشوفها بس علشان يرضي غرورك من ناحيه التشطيبات اللي موجوده في الساعه. فهذه هي الايترنتي اديشن راح يسوون 18 حبه منها تقدر تختار لون الانامليينج ويمكن بعد تقدر تختار اذا ذهب ابيض او ذهب زهري بس مبدئيا هذه الالوان اللي موجوده على الساعه. One more thing we want to talk about Clemence sure. is in the Laureato. Yes. There are two pieces that are here today. Yeah. Also a grand Yes. And also there is the last thing that we want to talk about is the carbon glass. So we want to talk a little bit about the carbon glass because I know people love the Laureato and carbon glass, but they have no idea what the carbon glass is. Now I've read that it is even more solid than forged carbon. So basically, if we come back to the history of Laureato, Laureato is a watch born in the 70s. Yes. Basically in 1975 precisely. It has this particularity of having this octagonal bezel on a round case with this integrated bracelet, which was very much in the hands of the 70s. Uh, design in-house. Then the Laureato comes with two faces. One that we love to say classic. So it's really like this one, steel on steel, yes. um, with a coup de paris down. 
animated throughout different colors and uh, different functions. And then you have what we call the more contemporary side of Laureato, which is the Laureato Absolute. Yes, so the Absolute is the more uh, adventurous, the more sporty watch, the thicker, the bulkier one. Yes, exactly. In 44 millimeter, titanium But cases. it doesn't look 44. It doesn't look it's, 44, It's elegant. It, it looks like a 42 and a half, looks like a 43, but never a 44. We, at GP, it's super important for us to work on the ergonomy also, and the balance between the thickness and, of course, um, the wideness of the, of the tank. Yeah. And provide the largest openings that you can have. So you have an impression that it's it, it, ha it is a big watch, but at the same time, when you put it on the wrist, it's super easy. Yeah, I tried it even, and I have a 16 centimeter wrist. It doesn't look that bad even on my wrist. Uh, I'm glad you like it. Yes, it's a beautiful watch. So within the Absolute line, we have different uh, case animations, sorry. And part of it is the carbon glass. Carbon glass was uh, actually a world premiere at Gerard Bellego in 2019. I remember. It was uh, the first time where I, uh, we mixed carbon and fiberglass at extremely high temperature to get a 100% waterproof carbon. Mm -hmm. Meaning that, you know, if you take most of the carbon watches today on the market, not to say all carbon watches today on the market, you have to have a container and then on top of it the carbon case yes. to ensure the water resistance. If you take carbon glass, the material itself is water resistant. So carbon glass is on carbon glass. So you have carbon and fiber glasses that yeah. you can tint No, but I mean, there is no container. Ah. It's, it's the case is actually carbon glass on carbon glass. Yes, exactly. Amazing. Exactly. So, you know, GP is a lot about aesthetic and functionality. Um, when you take the three bridges, the bridges are totally functional elements of a watch. But they look amazing. But they have to look amazing. If you talk to the watchmakers, they will tell you that they hand finished every component of the movement, even though the one, even the one that you cannot see. Yes. So, carbon glass was a way for us to push the concept of aesthetic and functionality. The material looks very different from a traditional forged carbon. It's solid, but then uh, there are pieces where you can see through and then back the solid. Exactly. And it looks just amazing. And you can tint the fiberglass in different colors. Amazing. So we've done the uh, Crystal Rock Edition was white, for example, whereas um, the first Rock Edition blue was blue. Yes. So, Clément solved it on the TGP. أكثر شيء لوريتو قالت إن في لوريتو اللي نزلت السبعينات السنسبل وان اللي هي اللي خلينا نقول السبورت شيك حلوة حق المكاتب ناعمة على الإيد. بعدين نزلوا الأبسلوت الأبسلوت اللي هي خلينا نقول إذا أنت تسولف عن خلينا نقول أودمار بيجي اللي هي الأوفشور مالة لوريتو هي الأبسلوت. أهم نقطة في الأبسلوت إنه ما وقفوا حيث إنه احنا بس نتبع السوق لا طوروا من السوق فمثلا اذا كانت الشركات قاعد تسوي فورس كاربن جراب بيرغو سووا الكاربن جلاس فالكاربن جلاس هو شنو هو خليط ما بين الكربون ما بين الفيبر جلاس بعدين ضغطوهم تحت درجه حراره عاليه سمح لهم هالشغله انه يسكرون كل الثغرات اللي موجوده في الكاربن من ناحيه آه انه يدخل ماي على الساعه لان بالنهايه هذه ساعه سبورت ساعه مغامره قدروا ايضا ان يحطون الكاربن على الكاربن ويسوون كيس من قطعه واحده بدون لا يدخل ماي بدون لا يحطون كونتينر بدون لا يحطون فواصل ما بين الكاربن والامور هذه الثانيه وبعدين يقدرون يلعبون على الفيبر جلاس يضيفون على الوان فاول ابسلوت نزلت بالكاربن جلاس كانت ازرق ثاني ابسلوت غيروها سووها شفاف وهذا نهايه طابع جي بي انه مو بس ياخذ الشيء على حد ذاته ولكن يطور منه فالحين بنسولف عن اللورياتو ليترنيتي اديشن اللي هم سووهم من الانامل كلاماس راح تورنيهم بسرعه عشان ننهي الفيديو. كلاماس tell me about the eternities. So you know that this year we're celebrating the 250 anniversary yes. of the brand. So for that we've been playing with enamelin on our icons, yes. like we said before. So uh, the Laureato is actually. فلو تلاحظون الحين لوريتو الايترنيتي اديشن على مرور 230 سنه صارت بالانامل مثل ما قلنا الحين لوريتو الا جيراد كاراجو قاعد يسوون الانامليج عندهم ان هاوس وطبعا سووا واحده ايضا خضراء من الساعه وايضا سووا واحده خضراء من الساعه فصار الحين عندنا ازرق واخضر من اللوريتو ايترنيتي اديشن بالانامل وطبعا في لو تلاحظون سان ري جاليوشا على الانامل نفسه شيء عجيب. And what about the rays? What about the indexes and the. No, no, if you look closely, yeah, you can see like rays. sun rays. Yeah. yeah. 
So first you take a plate, silver plate. Yellow yeah, shit or then you send you send away it, so you, you engrave it. And then you put layers of enamel on it. Exactly, exactly. It's translucent enameling, so you can see the sun ray on the فعلشان يوصلون حق السن راي ياخذون الدايل ويتش از سمبل الدايل يكون من من الفضه يعملون فيه السن رايز حفريات السن رايز بعدين يحطون عليه لايرز الانامل علشان يطلع طريقه السن راي مثل ما انتم تشوفون بس يكون ترانسلوسنت انامل اللي هو الانامل ما يكون ما يكون صك يكون فيه عامل شفافيه شوي علشان نشوف الخطوط الداخليه اللي داخل Thomas, thank you so much for having me. Thank you, thank you for all of these uh, beautiful pieces of information. Absolutely, absolutely. We'd love to have you all at the manufacturer whenever you come. Halas, whenever you want, whenever you go to Neuchâtel, call Clemence. Yes, thank you. Thank bye you. Everyone. Bye bye. All right, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Clemence. Thank you so much. Thank you. Absolutely.